Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We are Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. Kathy has a massive shoe haul for you guys today. Um, I'll let her explain it, but this is from a few different stores and she's just sourced a ton of shoes. This is not the 65 pairs of shoes that she just recently sourced and listed in like the same eight hour period. These are all different shoes. So Kathy's gonna run through them and let you know what she picked up and why. Hey guys, yeah, so these are all shoes I picked up, I would say in the last week, maybe like, maybe 10 days. And yeah, none of these included the 65 pairs from the Once Upon a Child. Some of these are from Once Upon a Child, just not that one day that I got them all at once. So yeah, these are just from various stores, all in Colorado Springs, all sourced in the last seven to 10 days. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. And 95% of it will be listed when you guys see it. There's a couple pairs I need to do some work on, but otherwise we're good to go. Um, I had stopped picking up snow boots for a minute because we're getting into spring summer, but then with the crazy weather happening this week, yeah. I noticed some of my stuff that I've been having for a while starting to sell off. So uh, this week our thrift stores seem to have a ton of snow boots. So I started picking them up again. So yeah, got these girls Kamek snow boots. Uh, these always sell right around $30 plus shipping. So whatever you feel comfortable picking them up at. I sometimes would even pay up to $10 for a pair uh, just to sell for 30, but everyone has their own. I'm gonna put them in my bag here because I'm gonna need the table <laughs> in a minute. But yeah, everyone has their own like different profits that you need to make or whatnot, but. Yeah, spoil alert. This is not all <laughs> the shoes. There's still a couple bags over here, so. We have a lot to go through. <laughs> uh, these are just some little stride right frozen Elsa boots, Elsa Anna snow boots. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these sell for like probably 25 bucks that these are going to sell for. Um, I've sold several other pairs, not all frozen, but these little stride right snow, snow boots do really well. Mm -hmm. all right, and then we found a pair of little Merrill snow boots. I have these priced at 35, I think. Um, I haven't sold one like this before. So we'll see how that goes. And these are prices that I have it priced at. Like, obviously, I don't expect to get that price on all of them. Um, some things I know what mm -hmm. I'm going to get. But others, I just put a price up and see what offers I get and then decide from there if I'm going to accept them. Uh, these were just a nice pair of Converse. I actually found them at a thrift, but I asked my son if he wanted them, and he tried them on, and he did not want them. So <laughs> they're getting listed. These will probably sell around 25 $30. Uh, these were a really nice pair of Ugg boots. Um, they're like a leather and yeah, they're in really good shape. The soles looked almost unworn. The only really signs of wear is like some wrinkles where your foot creases, but I have these priced, I think at 125, which obviously is a little high, but most of my adult Ugg boots um, that I've sold have been in good shape. I've sold close to a hundred. So Price about 125, we'll see what offers I get. Uh, these guys, I actually sold over the weekend here. Um, what is it right now, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are gonna be in our wet sold as well, but I wanted to mention them just because it's not a brand I come across often, but when I do, it's a good one. So they're called Vivo Barefoot. Um, these ones are a little dirty and I listed them as is. I did not clean them up at all. They still sold for $50 and some change plus shipping, so. Uh, if you find them in like excellent condition, you're looking at 80 to 100 bucks easily. So Vivo Barefoot, definitely a good brand to look out for. Uh, kids even do like 40 to 50 bucks. So, all right, then I found some Saucony running shoes. Uh, these will probably sell anywhere from 30 to $50. Just depends, they're in really good shape. Really nice tread on those mm -hmm. ones. Are just some little kids adidas um these i think i have listed at like 30 or 35. Uh, i've never sold a pair like this before but i'm sure i'll get at least like 25 for them all right if you are uh not if you're new here yeah if you're new here you might not know that <laughs> i love selling reebok crossfit shoes but uh these things sell really good for me so this pair was in excellent shape and so I picked them up and I think I'll get at least 60, hoping for a little more because of the condition. So we'll see. 
I've sold Reebok CrossFits anywhere from like $30 to $100, so it really just depends. Uh, these guys are just some play sandals, and these did have like some white marks on them. I did try to clean that, and it didn't come off, so I just listed them as is. They'll still probably sell around $25. Bucks. But yeah, play sandal or play any shoes, pick them up if you see them for cheap. Uh, these are just some Echo sneakers. Uh, they're like a crackle. I don't even know what you'd call that, but you probably can't see it <laughs> on your side. I, it looks kind of shiny. It's yeah, not metallic it's like though, a, right? It's a little metallic. It's like a crackle print. I don't know. I didn't know what to call Almost it. Almost so like I an alligator. Didn't not really, say but anything about them, but... Maybe some kind of reptile print. Yeah. So I like picking up this brand. Um, it doesn't always sell super fast. Some of them do, but... I know that these will sell probably, I mean, at the very least 30 bucks and I only paid like four bucks for them. So see how those do. That brand retails for a ton. The resale isn't as great as the retail, obviously. Uh, these are just some Nike foam posit. I have these listed really high, but I don't really know what to expect. Haven't sold a pair, I don't think yet. So we'll see how it goes. There were some solds anywhere from like 30 to 100 bucks. So hmm. I priced mine at the high end and I will consider all offers that I get. All right, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these and then you'll also see them in our what sold again tomorrow or Oops, sometime yeah. <laughs> soon after this video. Not sure when these videos, are, what order they'll be yeah. coming out in, but. So these are Rothy's. Um, obviously Rothy's are always a bolo, but this one in particular, which I didn't even look them up in the store because they were only $4.99. I knew I was going to grab them. When I got home, I figured out what the color name was by using Google Lens. And then uh, once I found the color name, I found comps. And on eBay, these were going for like $200 plus shipping. On Posh, for some reason, the comps were like really low, like $70, $80, 90 <laughs> I mean, that's low, so low, low yeah. compared to eBay, <laughs> right, obviously. Right. Like when I found them, I was like, oh, these are at least probably going to get me 80 bucks. So that's what I was thinking. Uh, but yeah, after seeing the eBay comps, I priced them on Posh at 250, expecting offers around, who knows? <laughs> I don't, I mean, people like to offer really low. So I didn't know what, what I would get, but literally in a few minutes after posting, I got a $150 offer. Um, so I molded over for like 20 minutes. <laughs> like I just couldn't not take that offer. Like I paid $5 for the shoes. I probably could have got 200 on eBay, but I'd rather just take the bird in the hand. Um, we did clean them up a little, but they're still, you know, the soles were dirty. I mean, they're just a little bit dirty still. And the ones on eBay were like almost in pristine condition. So my thought was just how many people in the world have a size 10 and a half shoe foot, first of all, women, um, that's gonna want this exact Rothy color and willing to spend more than 150. And there's probably a few, but I, was like let me just take the money i was on a roll this month with my sales and everything so <laughs> wanted to keep that momentum but yeah those are i'm gonna put those in a separate pile and the vivo barefoots so you'll probably hear the same exact story in the what's old video yeah <laughs> that's true i should have saved the story <laughs> no it's fine <laughs> all right so these are just some men's hoka i found them on the same trip as those rothy's so that was actually a really good trip because these will probably sell um they're not in the best shape but the soles are good, like they don't have any like heel wear or anything, but they are dirty and kind of beat up. So I think I can get at least 40 at the very least, hoping for 50 or so on those. But yeah, one quick stop, I found the Rothy's, those Hoka's and those Echo shoes. So when all is said and done, I'll probably profit like 200 bucks off of just those three pairs. Mm -hmm. right, and then these are just called Josmo Walker. Um, they're leather baby shoes i've sold several pairs of them they usually go for 25 30 bucks and these were like an excellent shape so i only when i find them they're usually like three bucks or less so grab those uh, these are some men's ortho feet which i haven't actually sold a pair i have a pair of women's listed just for the last couple weeks um but i just thought these were in really good shape uh yeah and they were men's 10 wide they didn't even look more and they were a little bit more expensive than i wanted to pay but i wanted to experiment so i know i won't lose money we'll see how much i profit when they sell mm -hmm. but yeah they're very like 
the insole. I can't, I can't stop feeling it. It's like super squishy. Like I want to wear a pair for myself. <laughs> I just love to be comfortable all the time. All right, so these were some women's Choco flip-flops, size nine. Uh, if you did not know, Choco has their sizing right on the heel. So that I says W9, know. so those are women's. And yeah. So these are women's Chacos. I think I listed them at 35 and I will see what offers I get on those. These are some women's like Crocs. They remind me of like a nursing clog. Mm -hmm. um, they have like the slip resistant bottom. So good for probably nursing, uh, chefs, cooks. They look like a dance go yeah. was molded so. into a croc. And they have really or a croc was molded insoles, into a dance go. But yeah, yeah, these are a women's four, so they might sit a while. We'll see. Um, oh, do those have the water slip resistant? Yeah, like the this? like the bistros. Yeah. So yeah, they're size women's four though, so they're probably gonna sit forever. But they were cheap, so we'll see what happens with those. Uh, these I thought were so cool. I've never, these are keen, but I've never seen this type of keen before. I think they were called the Howler or Howler. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't typed on my listing that I have them listed for, but yeah, these were like in perfect shape almost, like probably worn once. They like have the hard bottoms. So you could wear them out, but like the inside feels like a slipper. Hmm. So I kind of want to pair for myself now, but I think I have these listed at I don't know, 59, 60 bucks or so. I think they retailed for a 110 or 120. So not sure what to expect because I've never sold them before, but. And then speaking of slippers, we got some Tom slippers. These, oh my gosh, these are so soft. Like <laughs> as soon as I like was listing these, I was looking for them in my own size um, because they're <laughs> literally so soft. Like these are the softest slippers I've ever felt. So. I'm definitely gonna keep looking out for them. If you guys have any in a size 10, tag me at Ginger Marvin on Poshmark or <laughs> message me on Instagram, tell me, cause I will 100% buy them from you. As long as the like fur is not all matted and gross, but. <laughs> uh, so these are super cute. They're little kids, Sorel the, what are these called? The out and about, I think. I want a pair of these for myself as well, but for now, I'll just sell these ones in my Poshmark store. It's funny cause Guys, Kathy wears flip-flops 99.9% right of the time. It is winter, slippers. so she wears slippers 99.9% .9 of the time. It's but. true. I have, I don't have that many shoes for like a woman, <laughs> I would say, but I only wear like three of the ones I do have, yeah. so. But yeah, these are super cute. Um, I think I priced them at 50, but obviously willing to take offers. Uh, these are Mahabas sold a couple pairs uh, these ones do have like a faint stain on them which i showed but these are like the outdoor ones some of them come with like bottoms that you can hook off but these ones just are solid bottoms so mm. uh, yeah these retail for like 110 bucks i think i priced mine at 40 because of the stain but i think in the past i've gotten between 35 to 40 for my other pairs all right these ones i have not listed yet because there's some really nice Sorel like riding boots, similar similar to the ones we sold um, recently. And they still have the tag on, like they weren't in a box. But then when I got them home, I noticed that like they had coffee or something spilled all over them. Mm. And it wasn't from me, <laughs> which I wouldn't put it past me to spill coffee on stuff, but <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get them out, but still like for the price that I paid, it obviously was worth buying these. Yeah. So even if I, can't get them off and have to list as is somebody will still buy them for much more than i did so and this is a perfect example is uh like we don't like she doesn't like buying dirty shoes right. but if the <laughs> profit is there like if i can get that out those are easily a hundred dollar pair yeah boots, so but for 90 percent of <laughs> what we source we try to source something that doesn't require any work yep. we could just photograph it and list for it for example these are dirty you can see <laughs> Uh, but I only paid a dollar for these, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to clean them. I'm just, I listed them already. And if I get an offer for even like 15 bucks, I will take it because I paid a dollar for them. But yeah, I'm not going to sit there and clean like every little pair of shoes. So people yeah. still buy them as is. And yeah. So these are somewhat Osiris. Is that how you say it? Osiris. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like these were cool when I was in high school, but not yeah. sure if they are anymore, but I was going to take a chance for a dollar. 
Back in my days of <laughs> skateboarding, I used to wear Osiris shoes. That's funny that our kids name Osiris now, <laughs> which... Which is a family name. <laughs> yeah. I did not name my son after no. the shoes I wore <laughs> in high school. <laughs> so these are uh, Jamie and Jack little girl riding boots. These are toddler 10. Super cute. Um, these Jamie and Jack retails for so much. And I know they always have crazy sales, but I'm hoping to get up around 35 on these. I think that I can. So we'll see. I found a ton of Sorel boots this week which I'm not mad about because they sell great. Uh, these ones are called the Tivoli's, I think. Um, these ones I have, I just listed before we started the video. Um, I think I put them at 75. I'm not positive, but everything is, <laughs> takes offers on everything. Negotiable. So, yeah. Uh, these I just found today and I think they're super cute. They're just a kid's Merrill hiking boot. Uh, yeah. Not much to say about them. I didn't list these ones yet because I just, I actually did clean these up on the soles a little. So I was letting them dry, but then I will photograph those. Uh, these are some North Face Kids Girl Snow Boots, size 2. I think I priced these at 50 and we'll take offers on those. Pretty much any snow boot that's like a name brand is going to get you at least 30 bucks minimum plus shipping, uh, even for kids. So... Uh, these are some Ugg heart moccasins, kind of like the ones I'm wearing, but cuter. <laughs> Anyways, so these are, what's I going to say about them? Oh, I've sold this exact pair before for 47 on Posh with discount shipping, so like 45 plus ship. Uh, I don't know if I'll get as much for these. The ones I sold previously were like a women's 10, and I feel like higher sizes sell for more. These are a women's 6, so uh, otherwise they're in really good shape. Um... But yeah, it was funny because I showed them on my Instagram story and literally three different people messaged saying, use Florida Gators in the title. Or, well, two people said that. Somebody else said, um, you know, mentioned like different teams or something that. Anyways. <laughs> the colors of. Yeah. So these right. are actually red and um, blue. So not orange and blue like Florida Gators. But it, I was just like, dang, my photo must be really bad. <laughs> and then I took <laughs> photos of these on our kitchen counter like I always take photos on a kitchen counter and they do look very orange in my photos so I'm probably gonna have to re-photograph these before I post them because yeah I don't want anyone to get them and be disappointed that they're not orange they are red it is kind of a like an orangish red yeah. like it's not a <laughs> pure red you know what I mean yeah it's definitely a lighter so kind of red you have to set it next to an orange and a red I yeah let them decide for yeah uh, so these are some kid well I'm going to say kid, but actually they say men's four, ladies five. So I think the men's would also be equivalent to like a youth. So youth or men's four, uh, Doc Martin Velcro boots, a little bit of wear on the fronts there, but otherwise pretty good shape. And I think I priced these at 50, but taking offers. Love Doc Martens. And we didn't even use the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on those, right? We nope, just... Because I was too lazy. I just wanted to get them all <laughs> listed. I yep. just, I'm always in a rush to get stuff listed because stuff... This last week has been so good because I've been just, like, listing like crazy. I mm -hmm. listed over 120 items, like, last Sunday to Saturday. And then today's Sunday again. I think I listed 30 items today. Mm -hmm. So I want to list over 100 again this week. So <laughs> I'm just, like, trying to keep the momentum. And today's our day off, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if there is a, such a thing as a day off when you work for yourself. <laughs> All right. And then these are just some area, like, slip-ons. I think they're called the Cruiser. I've never sold these before, but area stuff usually does well for me, so I'm going to try them out. And, yeah, they're in really good shape other than a little bit of dirt on the white parts, which it's kind of like a foam, so I wasn't even going to try to clean it because I didn't want to make it worse. So. Yeah. Uh, those retail for like 90 so I think I priced mine at, I think I priced them at 50 I'm hoping for like at least 35 but ideally like 40 We'll see. Uh, these are just some kids, youth, five youth, uh, Nike Air Force Ones, all black. I think I priced these at 50 and we'll take off first. Five youth I think is a women's six and a half. 
if anyone wants them for their self. <laughs> and actually, I found two pairs of Rothy's this week, two days in a row. Like, I just couldn't even believe it. Uh, these ones I just listed today, I put them at 100. The comps on these aren't anywhere close to those yellow ones. So honestly, I'd be happy with like 60, 70 bucks. So we'll see what happens. They aren't available on their site anymore. So that's a good thing at least in the round toe. It looked like they might have had the pointed toe on the website mm. still. And on Posh, there's only one other listed in this size. So um, I did list mine higher than them, but I'm active, I think, more than the person that has the other pair. So we'll see. And I'm will very willing to take off first. So I did not wash these either. I probably could have, but I wanted to get them listed really fast. They're women <laughs> seven and a half. One day, maybe I'll find a pair of my own size and keep them, even though I'll never wear them. <laughs> All right, and then these are just some Dance Go size 41, which I think is 10 and a half to 11. A uh, little bit of wear on the leather, but these type of clogs always seem to do well for me, the ankle strap ones. So we'll see how that goes. All right, more snow boots. We got L.L. Bean. I've never sold L.L. Bean snow boots before. Um, well, I sold those bean duck boots the other day, but not like these are a kid's use, like actual snow boots. So we'll see how those do. And then we got yeah, two more pairs of Sorel boots. One is a youth one and a youth two. These always, again, sell for $30 plus shipping for the most part. Uh, these are just some cute little Keen baby hiking boot shoes. Uh, <laughs> these are toddler size 8. Super good shape. They look like they were probably worn one time. I think I priced these at 40 Most of these usually sell around 40 for me. So believe it or not, little baby shoes sell for that much. Why am I keep skipping over these? So these are just some little Ugg boots. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> uh, these are size zero one, one so like... Itty bitty baby. Um, I think I priced these at 30, but uh, yeah, let's see how those do. In the past, I've sold several pairs in the $25 range, so. Um, I don't normally pick up Toms, but these ones were interesting, interesting to me, so I picked them up mm -hmm. and we'll see how they do. They were fairly cheap, so we'll see. Is that like a leather? Uh, like I doubt it's real leather, leather because it's Tom's, right. but they do feel like a It's leather. not a canvas, right? Normally they're no, like a yeah, canvas. Yeah, that's why. I, Looks like a perforated, perforated vegan one. leather, maybe. Yeah, so these exact ones, they have an emerald green color. That one looked like it was selling for mm -hmm. like 60 plus dollars. So if you ever find that one, <laughs> pick it up. But these ones, if I could get 25, 30, I'd be happy. Yeah. All right, and then these actually just sold before we started the video. Uh, they are some women's Sorel boots, and they sold for an offer of 70 I priced them at 100 and took the offer of 70 So, yeah, really happy with that. Some really good sales this weekend. And we have these other bags. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll set them up on the table. We'll be right back. Ready? All right, and we're back. All right, so just a few more here. Uh, did I buy these all today? No, I bought some today. <laughs> uh, we... After church, I went to the Goodwill, and then I came home and photographed them already and listed them. So <laughs> that's the kind of crazy person I am. Uh, so these are some little baby vans, size four, and they're a little bit faded on the canvas, but they were super cheap, so I grabbed them, and I think they'll sell around 20 bucks. Uh, this is a brand I've only sold one other time, and the other one that I sold was like, I feel like it was more of a comfort shoe. Like this seems like a comfort shoe but what about, it was just like a black almost like a I don't want to say like old lady shoe but like you know <laughs> like a loafer type I don't know just like a slip on this is like more of a fancy shoe mm -hmm. anyhow uh, the brand is Drew these do retail for a ton I don't expect anywhere near retail for them but they're like new without box and they're women's nine wide I think the retail is 180 and I think I priced mine at 60 and we'll see what happens so I only bought them because they were no without box. Mm. But don't buy those just because you saw that I picked them up because I don't know how quickly the, they'll sell. So, all right, and then these are really good if you ever find them. The brand is Half Halflinger. Uh, these are like wool slippers, and these retail for like between one thirty to one fifty. 
I priced, I've sold several pairs on like the $40 to $50 range. I priced these a little higher because every time I've sold them in the 50, $40 to $50, they've sold like in one day. So that's great. But I priced them a little higher this time just to see if what offers come in. So uh, yeah, this is a great brand. And if you ever find it, you're looking at a very fast sale of at least 40 bucks. And then another pair of Sorel boots. These ones are really cute. I love the colors, purple and like mint or Kind of retro-ish, yeah. Uh, so these are a Youth Girls 3. And they did have some staining like right here, but otherwise they look hardly worn. So uh, I always price the Sorel boots at like 50, the kid ones, and then just take offers. So we'll see what those go for. I've never sold this model before. Uh, these I found today. I thought they were super fun. There's some Merrill tie-dye sneakers and the soles are like really have some good traction on them. So not sure what to expect on those. I've never sold that type of Merrill, but they were in good shape. So I know they'll sell. All right. And then another pair of Reebok CrossFit. The high top ones are the ones that have always sold the most for me. So I'm hoping for I'm hoping for like 70 bucks on these, but we'll see. Uh, you know, I'd be happy with even like, I don't want to say it and then someone offered me like a little <laughs> price, but I mean, hmm. comps on those, I just listed them a few minutes ago and they were, the comps are really good. So I priced mine at a hundred and I'm hmm. going to hope for $70 and we'll see what happens. Uh, then these are some men's Allbirds. These are some of my favorite shoes. I actually do have a pair that I wear often of these. <laughs> well, not like the high top men's sneakers, but um, I have some flats that I love. So yeah, these are a 13 and they're like in super good shape, hardly worn. And yeah, we'll see how those do. I don't think I've sold a pair of men's Allbirds yet. Uh, these are just some Timberland hiking boots. Uh, the leather's a little bit worn. And I'm listing them as is. If they don't sell in like 90 days or so, I might go and try to buff out these marks. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. So I'd rather take a lower offer than do extra work to make a few more bucks. Uh, these are just some like Dr. Martin's monk strap type shoes. I just have trouble leaving Dr. Martin's. Doctor, Doc Martin. Doctor, doctor, doctor. <laughs> at the store because they always sell for at least like 30 bucks, I would say. Um, I think I priced mine at 60 and we'll take offers. Uh, these I was super excited to find. There's some Danner like camo boots. They are a men's nine and a half. But when I got them home, I realized they are insoleless, which they'll still sell, but they will sell better if they had the insoles in them. So. <laughs> We'll see. I price these at 100 and we'll see what happens. All right, these are some Vionic flats. Uh, I've sold the exact pair before. I can't remember exactly how much, but most of my Vionics sell 35 to 45, so probably somewhere right in there. Uh, these are some women's Solomon, like Gore Tex hiking, trail running, or hiking shoe, and they are a size 9. Pretty good shape, a little dust on them, which is to be expected when you're hiking trails. But uh, the last pair I've sold of those went for like 70 or 75. Um, I'm not expecting quite as much on those because they're a little more dusty, but somewhere up there, um, they sell really well. At the very least, I should get 50, I would say. And then these are some men's New Balance Minimus, a little bit dirty on the whites, but otherwise in pretty good shape. I haven't sold a pair of these, I don't think. I don't know. I know I hear people talk about them all the time. So I grabbed them, hoping for 35, 40 bucks. We'll see. And last pair is another Sorel boot. Uh, these are called the Snow Angel. And they have thin silhouette lining in them. And yeah, they're in really good shape. So there you have it. Big old shoe haul. Yeah. All right, that is going to do it for this haul video. I did want to give an update on um, the stimulus hauls, the stimulus check challenge hauls. We haven't finished or stopped doing that. I think Kathy's got about a hundred and what forty dollars left to spend. Yeah, and I'm still trying to list some of the stuff that I already bought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're still listing some of the stuff. Um, Mostly, I'm also I'm trying to supplement with these shoes right. to like. 
get our average sale price up. So there. our average sale price was going down with the stuff we were sourcing from the bins, which isn't a huge deal. We just wanted to kind of, you know, insert this, this some of this higher dollar stuff to try to counter that a little bit. But uh, what I wanted to get to was Kathy is hoping to spend the rest of that up in the Denver bins for a little bit more of a variety. Um, hopefully we find some cool, nice, expensive stuff up there to finish up that challenge. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this stuff, the rest of it that we haven't listed, listed. And if you have any questions or anything about them, let us know in the comments below. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.